Hello. Hello. I think you've got quite a lot of fans in the audience this evening, guys. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. <laughs> um, now, you have been together as a band for a long time now, haven't you? Is it, what, 13 years? 13 years? Or yeah, 13 years. Years. Okay. So how did you originally get together? Um, we just become friends on the audition circuit and decided to form a band. And then that's how Blue grew. And then Lee, Carmen and Simon joined the band sort of late on and then it just felt right. So you always, all of you always knew that you wanted to be musicians right from the start. Was, or was there any other career option in mind? We've all decided, you know, from when we were little that we were going to get in to this business somehow, whether it be acting or singing or whatever, but um, we were lucky that we found each other and we've been together for like 13 years, which is more than a lot of marriages these days. Yeah, that's true. I mean, was there instantly a bond between the four of you? Did you just click? I think there was a, a mutual respect. That's, that's why we click so much and that's why they never listens to me when I'm talking. Mm. Yeah, look, they're misbehaving oh, yeah, yeah. You're having your own conversation over there, yeah? Am I, oh. am I disturbing you? Because <laughs> <laughs> we've got respect. No, no, <laughs> we've got respect. No, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, respect your elders. Oh, see people could chat. <laughs> respect your elders, man. No, when no, when man I talk, listen. <laughs> I like that. That's how you keep them in line. There's so many boy bands come and go, but as you mentioned, you've been together. What do you think it is that's kept you guys together? And why the do you fans. The fans. But Because no, seriously. Yeah. Without that without the, without their dedication and the and the way that they've followed us since day one. Mm. I mean, look, the, the, the familiar faces over there, they've got some of them have got their own kids. Maybe. Look at all these yeah, guys. Right. There. Tammy, Tammy, a lot yeah. of fans we've known since Claire. we were kids. Like, yeah. I was 16 Laura. when I joined the band. I was yeah, 16 I years old. Claire. But a lot of the bands, the, not the fans, the bands, bands, um, <laughs> I'm going to have another drink. Um, and basically, the, you know, we've grown up with us, right? We, we grew up yeah. together. Yeah, like, exactly. That's, that's, yeah. The way we, that's the way we feel. Oh, you've, had, you've got some pretty high profile fans too, though. I mean, Elton, Stevie. How did that come about? Did they who who approached who? Um, well, for the for the sorry seems to be the hardest word. Um, the genius in the band, AKA Lee. Lee. Okay. Came came up with the idea <laughs> to cover the to cover the song. Um, sorry seems to be, and um, he basically went in that night and did the demo. He he brought it into Hugh Goldsmith, uh, who was uh, at the time, and uh, he loved it. And because you know, I mean, would you want to say that this was one of the albums being hit with you? You know. No, it was one of them songs that kind of everyone knew, but it wasn't one for the hits anyway. Um, and basically, Hugh came up with the idea for Sir Elton to basically uh, play the piano. Yeah. So we all went into the studio, we came along, and um, while he was playing, he turned around and he went, well, I think, you know, you boys are, um, are amazing. I really loved All Rise. I thought that was the best album of, the, uh, of last year. Mm -hmm. um, would you mind if I sang? You said, don't mind if I do help. Why not? About? I slapped him and said, get your ass up there. Man. Of course. He loved it. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Going back to uh, Lee's point, you were 16 when you joined, and you were all pretty young. I think it was sort of between 16 and 21. 22. 22. Let's tell the truth now. Back then, <laughs> we were told to say you was a year younger, innit? Yeah, man. So, but you lot don't care now, do you? It's yeah, 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 we don't. We were 22. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But you our pop is just 21. 21. Yeah. Still a boy band, it's fine. You know, what I find nowadays is that you know, you've got great shows like The X Factor and The Voice, and they're, and they're bringing through some fantastic bands and singers. But we, we grafted the old way. We went to universities. I mean, I remember going to Leeds University with Elaine and, and, and getting bottled and all that, and it was just the fun of it. Just yeah. like, it was, it was the buzz. It was that, just building that fan base every now and again. I remember we did that, you remember we did that youth club in Basingstoke? Yeah, 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 with the boy band. Oh my God, yeah. Never was, mate. Really? No, no, yeah, no. shocking. That was just, an eye opener. It's a good grounding, though. It's it's really really good good we used to share bedrooms and everything. Like, we always used to have to, like, share rooms with each other, and it would be like, it, it would be like, who's gonna share a Lee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what? that was always me. Lee, why? Why did they he sort of single you out? Yes. No, because he would wait. He makes, you would out like he, he makes out like he's not messy. No, no, no. I wasn't talking about the mess. I was talking about what you were doing in your sleep. Well, oh, what did I do? oh, oh yeah. my God. No, yeah, yeah. What did I do in my sleep? So basically, whoever got to share with me, you never really knew what kind of a night you were going to get. Right. <laughs> he's quite a restless sleeper. So one night, I'm fast asleep. Lee's next to me, and we've got single beds, all right, before you start <laughs> pushing two and two together. Yeah. So, um,. I hear this banging, like really violent banging, and I kind of wake up like, what the f is going on? 
and Lee's sleeping, and he's just head pan against the headboard like that. <laughs> and I'm looking at him, and I'm like, Oh, he does weird Lee, things. He's fast asleep. He was just so hitting, hitting in his sleep. Oh, no. Maybe in my dream the like microwave wasn't working or something. Maybe. I but Lee, you, you, well, I bet, but Lee, you actually had quite a reputation with the ladies as well. But were you just behaving like any normal 16 year old boy would? It's all lies. It's all lies. Yeah, you're actually very they, well behaved. They made it up. I was going to say, are you now more restrained and more focused? Is this the new grown up restrained. blue? Yeah. <laughs> we're straight, in, in a straight focus, jacket, I'm restrained. <laughs> no, um, no. no. Yes, you are. You're still yes, the you same. Are. No, do you know what? I, I still like having fun. We all still like having fun. We're not, we're not like, we're, we're not our slippers on. No. You know, we're not... We're, I think the thing is, we're, we're still young enough to go out and have a laugh, but we you know, we do... We, we do... We've got, we've, we've got a different angle of where we're from with yeah. the band now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what you do you say? Yeah. What's all the hecklers saying? <laughs> I've grown up. <laughs> He's mature Have I grown now. up? No, I've not grown up. <laughs> Tell me, have I grown up? <laughs> no, uh, I ain't grown up. We've um, always been like a bit of a naughty boy band. We yeah. were never like we were never like clean cut or well behaved. Well, that's the thing, and I think now even more so because of X Factor and programs like that. Yeah, but well, boy bands are just they maybe they're too going back to the word restrained. They can't be themselves. They can't have their own personalities. Well, I want to say personalities. No, no, I, I, I think I think it's sorry to talk to them. I think it might have a lot to do with the fact that they're scared to be themselves so soon. Thing, I think I was a deterrent for a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's the boy band blueprint. I think they f that Ryan. I'm not going to end up like him. These days, like, because of the X Factor, because of all these programs, you have to be so careful what you yeah, say and what you, you do. Yeah, you do, yeah. And because people get so easily offended, obviously, because of Twitter and everything else. So, yeah. you, you, you know, you get the feedback straight away. Mm. Now, in 2005, you went on a break, didn't you? And who's... It took about eight years. It took... <laughs> Who's, well, that must have been weird for you. It was a Kit Kat break. Kit -Kat but break. it must have been weird because you're used to this lifestyle as a boy band where everything's scheduled. You're told you're here at this time, photo call at that time, gig at this time. And all of a sudden, you go, you know, you're on your own. And how do you deal with that? Mm. It's hard. Uh, uh, I don't know, Anne. Yeah, I mean, it was hard. Lee, behave yourself. What is that? What is that? It's just Coke. Diet Coke. Coke Zero. Anthony, where were you? Um, yeah, so it was just, it was a shock because obviously you, you fight all your, you fight for your, you know, all your teenage years to get into a band and, and you work hard with the boys and you enjoy it and you meet, go travel the world, you meet some great people, great fans and, and work with some fantastic people and all of a sudden I'm, it all stops and then I'm at home watching fucking Jeremy Carl. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And, and it was, it was a shock good. to the system for all of us. Mm. Um, but the lads had fantastic solo careers and that. My music career went as well as an Arsenal fan at Tottenham. Um, <laughs> but you did musical theatre. You were no, in, I, like, you were in I, Blood I went, Brothers for a year. I went the other year. way. I, I went yeah. musical theatre. I did, I did a show down the road called Blood Brothers. And, yeah, it's a big show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was good. Yeah. He was amazing. Right. He was absolutely oh, amazing. Mm. So that's, you know, I'd love to go maybe one day. In You'd years, like maybe go back? Well, actually, I think everyone, apart from, I don't think, Lee, you, you haven't done any musical theatre, have no, you? No, because I'd probably get kicked out of it, because you have to turn up on time, all, and I'm not good at that. Yeah, you have to be very disciplined. No, he even said, you said that, did. You said, I'd be really yeah. good at doing it, but I probably wouldn't turn up on time, so I'm Well, you can't have all the audience waiting all night, you know. But you, you were in Sister Act, Simon, and, yeah. and Duncan, you were in Legally Blonde, amongst other things. Amazing, both of so, them, by the way. Yeah, Amazing. they were brilliant. It's very different, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. I think, I think for myself personally, I mean, it's something that I never thought I'd be able to do. And the first thing, uh, the first person I saw doing it was was actually Duncan doing Chicago. Yeah. And um, at first, I looked at him and I was like, "There's Duncan from Blue, <laughs> my bandmate." <laughs> and then about five minutes later, you know, he, I forgot who he was. He was yeah. actually the character. What was his name? Mr. Flynn, Billy Flynn. Mm. And I was like, "He's actually." Yeah. Really good, actually. And, um, and, then, from, and I was, then I thought to myself, well, what am I having about this? And obviously, Sister Act came up, Whoopi Goldberg came over and says, Yo, Sam, man, how, how would you like to you know, come along and play a little bit? I was like, Yeah, what's you up? You can't what? say no to Whoopi, can no, you? Bad. No. And no, it, was, it was fantastic. And Legally Blonde as well, you, you became really close to your co star, Sheridan yeah, Smith. Yeah, like, 
Have we got any Sheridan fans in here? She's lovely, a Sheridan. She's as wicked. Mm. Do you know what? It was really nice to do that show because um, Chicago has been is, was a show that was running and running and running for years and years and years. They kind of do lots of people coming in and out, but Legally Blonde was a brand new show. Mm. And the discipline for a brand new show was like, it was like a thousand times more strict than it was Chicago. So I kind of waltzed in thinking it was going to be like doing Chicago, but it was so strict. It was like being at school. Yeah. We would get notes. We would get, um, if you were two minutes late for the call, you'd get like in trouble. That's all... why I'd never would have worked. You couldn't cope, Lee. Because I didn't work in school. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're a budding chef though, he is, isn't he? You were he on... Uh, come dine with me well, and me all and sorts. We lived together and he was, he, I come home last night and yeah. there was like all this salmon cooked and it was beautiful. <laughs> it was like, proper like come home to like Chef Ryan like in my good, house. Good wife. <laughs> and you're all parents as well, aren't you now? You yeah. sort of, so that is growing up, essentially. Yeah, definitely. And so do you manage to see, uh, how do your kids react to you being in a boy band well, on telly? Well, I was, we was on daybreak today and my little boy um rung me up and um he's only four and Aww. he and he um he said <laughs> daddy i was laughing because you looked like you was doing a poo when you were singing <laughs> and um because because when i because when i you know when i hit all them high notes my veins come out my neck and he was apparently sitting there going <laughs> daddy looks like he's doing the poo <laughs> uh, so obviously you are you're back in the spotlight now and whose decision was it to reform and and to get involved with the big reunion. I mean, was, was that your Pretty doing? much Mr. Webb. Mm. I mean, I've, I've, You're I've, sorting I've... these boys out, aren't no, you, sir? I mean, it, is. <laughs> it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice being out there. I miss the boys. I think, I think they all felt the same way. But you know, when it's, it's that funny conversation of, is it going to happen? Because we've got so much respect for each other. We love each other so much. It was, I, you know, you don't want to interrupt anybody's lives or anything like that. But you know, it was, boys, do we want to do this? Are we going to do it ourselves? And um, we took the hard route and, you know, we, we named the album Roulette because we decided to put it all together ourselves and took a massive risk and took a gamble. And here we are now speaking yeah. to you guys. So, and, exactly. you know, the album's out next week, so... And the single's out today. Single's the out single today. is yeah. in stores today. today. Yeah. Yeah. Who's bought the single, by the way? Who's bought it? There's not enough hands in the <laughs> back there, right? <laughs> just put your hands Even up. if you haven't got it, just put your hand up. <laughs> that would help us in the back get us at least to about 102. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, though? For Blue, it's always been about albums. You know, we've been really lucky. that yeah. We've always been an album-selling band. We're at 40, by the way. Yeah. Um, we've, we've been an album-selling band, and I think that... Um, I think for us, we've been very grateful that every album we've had has been a number one album. Mm. And, uh, um, yeah. you know, that's thanks to all you fans out there who've exactly. got to Thank support you. it. And um, we've had a, a real massive uh, uh, plug from Radio 2, who's been fantastic on this campaign, They're really supported board. us. Yeah. And um, we went to the Graham Norton show the other day, didn't we? Oh, did you have fun? He was, he was a great, he's a great player. But you did the big reunion as well, so yeah. let's chat a little bit about that. Now, when you first appeared on it, because of course you came in at a later stage, are there, some people were quite negative about that, weren't they? Why do you think the other bands reacted it's in that TV. way? It's just TV. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, we played at the cameras, everyone else did. It was yeah. like, you know, it's, it made great TV. It's a great TV show. There's going to be another series that's coming out where there's going to be the bands, other bands that are coming back and coming um, back into the industry. And I'm, we, I think we're just glad to be a part of the first part of that show. And mm. even if we came in late, we still was a different twist on the show and everyone enjoyed us coming in. And yeah, they did. It's been a great platform for us to come back in the UK. Mm. And, you know, the fans have, you know, grown up with us and a lot of the fans have now woke up and gone, oh, yeah, I used to love you. <laughs> because a lot of the fans have grown up and, you know, they're married, got kids, same as us. Mm. And, and it's like they're, they're now in our same kind of age bracket and they, they still remember the, the songs and they remember our voices and they remember that they you know, good times that came from their, their youth, yeah. if you know what I mean. So, and, and I suppose, that, you know, we've got a new album, we're going to be doing this album, we're going to be doing another album, we're going to be doing another album after Exciting that. Stuff. We're going to be doing loads of tours, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, you announced like, the tour back. this morning, didn't you? Yeah. Officialblue.com. Officialblue.com. Yeah. And you're all looking after your sort of own management, you're taking the reins this time as well. We've got well, a manager, you? Mr. Paul mm. Bailey He's in the here, room. Yes, Paul. Brat, 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 brat. I've got to say, I've got to say, Paul, you've been a blessing. Thank you, you so much for organising everything, organising our lives to the to the extent that it's like right now. And, and he's um, a very handsome manager as well, <laughs> is our Paul. 
Yeah. And you're going to perform a few songs right now as well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh. we'd love to. Can we get a sing? Yes. Thank Dave. you. Please Sweet. give a round of applause. Thank you very much. It was a great interview. Thank you very Amira, much. Thank you. Thank you.